what exactly is epidemic by definition this we need to understand right now let us take an example to understand suppose i say dengue cases in delhi in the year 2020 is 5000 cases is it an epidemic if you say yes i will reduce the number to 4000 if you say no i will increase the number to 7000 so at which number you will decide it is an epidemic our answer should be we cannot decide upon this number that whether it is epidemic or not just by looking at this single number of number of cases of dengue in a year in any place in the country so epidemic has a technical definition let's try to understand suppose i ask you to make a prediction that how many dengue cases will occur in delhi this year so how you, can you make this prediction very right we'll look at last three to five years so suppose i look at last three years data and i get this there were 4,800 cases of dengue in Delhi in 2017, 5,600 cases in 2018, 4,900 cases in 2019. So this year, how many cases will occur? Based on this, we can calculate it will be around 4,800 to 5,600. So around four and a half to five and a half thousand cases are expected to occur. Let us say 5,000 cases. So this year, if there are 5,000 cases, then it was going to occur. This is normally expected number. So this is not an epidemic. But if it is suddenly very higher than this number, it will be declared as epidemic. So let us look at the technical definition of epidemic. Epidemic is defined as number of cases of a disease Clearly in excess of normal expectancy. So normal expectancy in this example was around 5000 cases every year. In 2020 there are 5000 cases. So this is normal expectancy. This is not clear excess. But suppose this year this number is not 5000 but 15000 this is clear access this will be now labeled as epidemic of the disease in the population so epidemic we cannot define just by looking at a single number we need to know the normal expectancy if the current number is clearly more than this normal expectancy that is an epidemic of a disease now how will we come to know that this is clear access cases expected are 5000 should i declare epidemic if it increase by 1000 or it doubles or should I wait for tripling or quadrupling of cases how will the health authorities come to know that this number is now approaching an epidemic this is calculated by a statistical formula second definition of epidemic epidemic is also defined as if number of cases of a disease is more than mean plus two standard deviations let's try to understand Suppose I say mean number of dengue cases in Delhi is 5000 cases per year. How I have calculated this mean or average? I must have taken the data of last 3 to 5 years and taken the average. So this number is coming around 5000 cases per year. Does it imply every year it will be fixed at 5,000? No, it can decrease to 4, 4,500. It may increase to 7, 6 or 7,000 or even higher. This variation is known as standard deviation. Suppose standard deviation in number of dengue cases every year is around 800 cases per year in Delhi. This implies on an average 5,000 cases are expected to occur, but it can increase by 800. It may decrease by up to 800. So when will epidemic be declared for Delhi population this year? If number of cases are more than mean plus two standard deviation. 
सो फाइव थाउजेंड प्लस टू इंटू एट हंड्रेड सो इफ केसेज आर मोर देन सिक्सटी सिक्स हंड्रेड दिस ईयर सो दिस फॉर्मूला इज यूज अदरवाइज हेल्थ अथॉरिटीज विल नेवर कम टू नो द डेंग्यू केसेज आर इंक्रीज वेन शुड आई डिक्लेयर द एपिडेमिक सो दिस इज यूज इन फैक्ट दे डोंट आस्क यू इवन कैलकुलेशन इन द पेपर डायरेक्टली द डेफिनेशन इज आस्क हाउ एपिडेमिक ऑफ अ डिजीज इज डिक्लेयर इन द पॉपुलेशन इफ नंबर ऑफ केसेस एक्सीड द मेन नंबर ऑफ केसेस बाय टू स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन कैन आई से बोथ दिस डेफिनेशन ऑफ एपिडेमिक्स आर सेम येस नॉर्मल एक्सपेक्टेंसी इज मीन विच वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ लास्ट थ्री टू फाइव ईयर्स एंड क्लियर एक्सेस वी हैव डिफाइंड एज टू स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन फ्रॉम आर ओन साइड so one standard deviation is taken as normal two standard deviation makes it an epidemic see why we need to understand this definition friends because many times when we hear this word epidemic we suddenly think large numbers yes epidemic may be large numbers but even a small number may be epidemic how let's take a common example what is the normal expectancy of the disease polio in india right now it is zero because there has not been even a single case in last 9 years now suppose this year there is one case of polio in india so this one case will be called as epidemic clear excess because normal expectancy was zero so government will not wait for cases to increase to 10000 a single case will be labeled as epidemic so now we come to the third definition of epidemic a reoccurrence of a disease which has been eradicated or eliminated is known as epidemic because its normal expectancy was zero similarly occurrence of a new disease in a country is also an epidemic because its normal expectancy was zero so epidemic has multiple definitions practically all of them mean same meaning first two definitions are asked in our examinations frequently 